Welcome to the Crimson Engine. Today we're going to talk about why I went $10,000 into debt to buy my cinema camera and how I feel about it a year and a half later. I bought the 5D Mark III about seven years ago now. Um, I was shooting with it a lot, but a year and a half or two years ago, I realized I needed to get a cinema camera of my own. I was renting either a RED or an Alexa or a five, uh, C300 Mark II a couple of times a month, and that money was just going. And I realized that I could buy something for myself, get better at using it, put the money that I was putting into rentals into paying off something that I would own and possibly even be able to resell. I really wanted the new camera that I was going to get to shoot RAW because I had Magic Lantern um, on my 5D Mark III, really loved it, had done a lot of experimentation with RAW, really got to know the post workflow. I looked at the Ursa Mini um, and actually rented it um, for a job and just wasn't impressed. I think the size was the main issue for me. It was just too big for a lot of the things that I wanted to do, a lot of the run and gun stuff. And also it didn't have autofocus. Um, when I heard, when they announced the C200, it seemed like the perfect camera. I shot my feature on the C100 Mark II. I really love the dual pixel. I really love the form factor. A lot of my accessories from the 5D would move over to the C200, but it was a lot of money. I bought the B, which is only $6,000 only. Um, but you, st I still need to spend at least another three or 4,000 on a bigger tripod, monitors, batteries, um, cables, a shoulder rig, uh, all the things that go with it. And I think that's what a lot of people don't understand is they look at the, the sticker price of just the camera and don't realize that you're spending almost that much again on other things. Red especially is infamous for this. They have a low priced body, but you end up spending, you know, a thousand dollars on the, on the memory cards. But calculating out the amount of money I would have to spend on the camera and the accessories, I still felt like it was a good investment um, for the amount of work I was already doing. Now, I think this is an important distinction because a lot of people buy cameras hoping to get work. Um, I don't think I would have done that. I only bought the camera because I had the work coming um, and wanted to make the best use of those rentals I already had set up. Another thing that you need to take into account is that you don't just have to cover the cost of the camera, but you have to cover the cost of the interest that you're gonna need to pay on the money you borrow to buy the camera. I bought mine through B&H um, just because it was cheaper. You know, a year and a half later, I don't have any regrets. Um, owning a camera, owning a digital cinema camera took my filmmaking to the next level. It allowed me to really create this YouTube, connect with a whole bunch of people, get a whole bunch of work I wouldn't normally have, and really just, you know, shoot projects myself um, for no money. Uh, that I'm really proud of, um, that I would never have had the opportunity to do if I had to, you know, spend the three, four, five hundred dollars every every time renting a camera for a day. My journey to camera ownership has been an incredibly positive one. I have no regrets. Um, that doesn't mean that that's right for everybody. Um, I am 40. Uh, I am pretty far along in my career. Like I said, I already had the work that I was gonna use to pay this camera off. And for me, it just, I was just waiting for the right camera, really. Um, I didn't wanna buy a RED, um, not a fan of that whole camera system for a lot of reasons that I should probably make another video about. Didn't really like the Sony um, and the FS7, FS5 are kind of getting towards the end of their life. They didn't shoot raw. Um, so when the C200 came out, I kind of jumped into the pond with both feet and uh, hopefully have been able to pass on what I've learned about um, C200 filmmaking on this channel um, and you know lots of exciting things are happening. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, leave your questions in the comments. Uh, let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Subscribe if you want to see those videos and I will see you next time.